unbelievable turnaround, wasn't it? I mean, the first quarter it looked like um, where, where's this spark going to come from? But it became a pretty amazing finish in there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, like this. If you come to the MCG and every week you, you're playing an opposition that are you know, of quality and the competition's very even and we allow them to get their, their game going. Um, yeah, I thought their pressure was enormous. You know, it was over two for all of the first quarter, which is a huge number, um, a number we probably haven't faced this year. Um, so, yeah, they had, they had a lot of strengths, forward of the ball, um, kicked really well. Um, yeah, put us under pressure, scoreboard pressure. And, um, I was pleased that we, we held our nerve. Just got a couple of goals late in that first quarter. Just gave us a little bit of a spark. Um, yeah, it's, it's a tough competition, isn't it? Uh, so just more, I know coaches don't tend to like individualise too much, but I thought that the Will Hoskinelli and Patrick Wilkinski were really critical to that. Yeah. Team. yeah I'm glad you mentioned those because I was going to draw attention to them anyway. Because you know, quite often, you know, I thought Jordy was amazing, yeah. absolutely amazing, his pressure and contest around the ball. Um, and everyone sees those things, and Nick Dacos and these guys are just our stars. Um, but not much recognition goes to our role players. And, and Will's been a, I call him a Swiss Army knife. Um, I sort of put that out to the world now because he can play everywhere. And he's done a lot of jobs for us and um, over a long period of time. And so we wanted him to go forward today and play a bit taller. And yeah, it's pleasing he takes his mark. So go for your mark. He's a brilliant, brilliant mark. So it was nice to see our role players shine. And um, you know, it doesn't always look, look like that because they're so reliable in other ways that people don't see. But it was nice for him to shine. And then Paddy to kick four goals. Is, you know, he runs enormous patterns for us. And um, you know, really pleased for both those players in particular. And Darcy Cameron as well. He's in good form, Justin, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's been really important to us. Um, you know, he's one that you think right from the start of the season, he's hit the ground running. He's, he's been significant for us. Against Soldo, who's been, you know, yeah, number one uh, hit out to advantage player in the competition leading into this game. So, um, and they brought another big guy in to, to really challenge us in that area. So yeah, Darcy's been critical for us. Um, what changed, do you reckon? He's talked about a couple of important goals late in the first term. Ken mentioned that as well. But what do you reckon was a poor time? Yeah. Was it, or could you sense that something was shifting late in the first term? Yeah, there's, there's, there's little things. You know, like you know, referring pressure was something we were doing early and then we just started to take you know, a bit more territory by hand and foot and um, yeah I, I think our forwards were starved of opportunity a bit you know like early but they looked dangerous I think we scored nearly every second time we went inside 50 early so we just needed to get a bit more volume there so mm. our mids got busy um, we got a pretty simple formula really like let's let's just get the ball going and then turn up and and have fun doing it um, and there was some energy built through that you know, like you could just see it just coming and um, this group's done it for a while now knows when it's we're starting to get our game going. Um, yeah, I think we look way more connected today than what we have in previous weeks. How did you spend the bye period? Did you, you know, did you work on that movement of the ball? What, what, what did you work on to focus on? Through? Yeah, we, we had a real energy in focus, like uh, take a deep breath, gave them actually a bit more time off than what we normally do. Um, you know, I heard Ross Lyons speak about it post-game. Th this game is so, so difficult. Every week is such a challenge, and he spoke about his back-to-back -back five day breaks. So that, you know, I'm not sure, not sure much gets mentioned around those things, but there is a cost to that. It's training and then you know, coming in a bit underdone versus the opposition potentially and energy-wise. We're not here to make excuses for it, but right now to have a couple of extra days to get mind and body ready, we, we felt that on Monday when they bounced into work and, and got to try and said, oh, okay, there's a, there's a, there's a bounce in the step, um, which then we can start to train a bit more and then, you know, express ourselves a bit more in that regard, but still a work in progress. They're, they're always big, but how, how much are you looking forward to Anzac Day? Two teams who are ready to go. Yeah, yeah I've, always, I've always tried to stay here in the last couple of years, stay here, appreciate what we just did, um, you know, to take the deep win with us, um, but we're not going to lose sight of five days' time. It's a significant day on the calendar for, for Australians, and um, yeah, we'd like to think that we could play a little part to, to honour those that served us. Mm. Did you just, I'll say, um, just back to Will, that, that, that mark, it just seemed to really come at a really important time. You guys really needed a spark and yeah. you that one, probably at an early mark that you can do that. Yeah, yeah, and, we, and we're, looking for, we're looking for players to step up in, in moments. You know, have your moment and do your thing, um, whether it's a great tackle from Bruzzy or 
you know, it's Nick, you know, getting the ball and just taking on a few guys. Just play to your strengths, and you know, every club's trying to do that. The, the challenge is to do it when it's when you're up against it. Someone be that be that guy. Um, yeah, I think we played a bit more in the moment today than what we've been previously. So something we can build on. Did you have a sense of occasion with something off Scott in the last quarter? Is five short of the ten thousand? Uh, did you not, did you I did know he was leading in, but I didn't. That's not the reason. No, we were. Um, We've actually sort of went in the game thinking if the game presented it, we could you know, look after some of our players and, and Pendles was high on the list. Um, so, no, I didn't have a sense of occasion, but next week should be fun. Mm -hmm. can, I, yeah. can I ask you about, you, sorry, about your I suppose, on field leads? Just have a chat to Brody before he's talking about the company and Jamie. You've been in control of that and a chat about what, Those leaders, do you give them licence to, to try and read? To the, to the guys around them. What do you do? That oh, yeah. Yeah, that's an, that's an integral part of our, our makeup is how we connect on the field and who leads, and it's not a one person thing. You know, we, we wanted to shine a spotlight on that today um, about how we connect, and um, we took a step forward, and it's just not a one person thing. Our leadership is, is 23 um, or 22 on the field at, at one time or 18 plus the others. I think you get it. But, um, no, not a one person thing. The, the selflessness, you know, your, your North Smith medalist only kicks two, and I think he looked like he was dishing off about 20. Yeah. It's just always the, you know, the selflessness and the handing off. Yeah. That, that, that no doubt gets highlighted through the week in the team review. Yeah, I know players talked about that post game, how important that is for energy. Yeah. Yeah, like they all, they, because it's our goal. You know, yeah. like individuals kick goals, but they're ours. So when we share it around, it's just another level of us and ours. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll make sure we highlight it again during the week. But that was that was a massive, massive part of um, energy for our group today when others celebrated as others' success. It wasn't about me, it was about us. Um, yeah, huge. And so, I mean, he's had a bit of a slow start to his career, but um, that comment, but that, that, that sort of stuff really sort of seemed to help off his shorts. Like, again, the game, he started getting his energy up and really involved and up and about as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah I, I think, you know, you come here today and I'm, I thought there was... <laughs> There's so many teams around the same mark at the moment, like, and and you know I put on the board um, before the game style points with a question mark. You know I think the broader footy world are trying to critique. You know you could be winning by more, or you should be doing this better, and you're not quite this, and you're AFL 17 or this, and whatever it looks like. But really it doesn't matter because we're in the process of qualifying. There's only four points on offer today, not style points. So we just had to get the job done, and I don't care what it looks like from here on into to wherever. We're just in the process of getting trying to get 14 wins because that's the number we think will make the finals, and that's all that matters right now. And after quarter time, you're plus 43 contested ball. That's a huge number. Is that something you're you know, hopeful they can just lead into? Because it's a pretty short turn, they can just lead, take that into the yesterday game. Well, it was a massive focus for this mm -hmm. game because if you don't get that right against Port, they they get the game on their terms, and um, we talked about it all week. We trained it and we tried to get that balance right around what that looked like and every game's different. You know, some teams are really good at clearances, so you've got to get that part of your game right or you know, there's other you know, the aerial threats, whatever it looks like, everything's different. But that contest today was critical against Port and um, really pleasing the stuff that Scott Selwood and, and um, uh, Hayden Skipworth and those guys doing the, doing the stuff behind the scenes to put that to, into practice. Um, we get rewarded because of their hard work. Did you get any casualties today? No, we're reasonably healthy. Um, no, it's, it's a good, good thing to have at the moment. Five day break, we kept a couple away from the VFL just in case. Um, we're in healthy shape today. Um, shout out to Steel Sidebottom, he's now second all time, second all time Collingwood player in the history of our footy club since 1892. What, a, what an amazing achievement. We celebrate that. Um, and, and Chelsea Roffey, who's the goal umpire, 300th game today. And I, I know Chelsea from way back, so congratulations, Chelsea. Um, huge achievement, 300 games, so well done. Jack Chris seems to never. Never miss a game. No, he hasn't. He's played 220 in a row or something. Yeah, he hasn't missed many, has he? He hasn't missed many training sessions either, so... Um, yeah, huge resilience, so... Thanks, guys. Thanks.